we realized that something was missing. Something was missing, you know, it, it felt like one person was going up and the other person wasn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we like, okay, something is, something is off, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so we came to the realization that then we're not going up together. Yeah. Right. And so mm -hmm. for us to be in the flesh, partner yeah. yeah and make sure that what you say to God I'm in agreement with you what I'm saying to God you're in agreement with you two shall become one right you're becoming yeah. one you don't just automatically become one. Yeah. yeah you're be becoming. becoming you're oh. becoming so you're becoming. Good. if you know you had that revelation you can be good yeah Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Winning Conversations. Today we are sitting down with Danny and Trina Hill on yeah. our couple series that we're continuing. Um, yes. Let's talk about it. How yeah. are y'all doing? Great. Doing great. Yes. Nice to have y'all on the podcast again. We talk yes. about you being on our podcast the very first episode all the time. Dan loves that. It's, it's, it's still, I mean, I had to rank them. It would probably still be my top two favorite episodes just because wow. of like, what it meant. Look at how far we've come since it's your amazing. first episode. It's amazing. It's beautiful in here. Isn't it crazy? Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> look how good you look right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like on these cameras, you look amazing. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I'm just saying. You guys should see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we want to talk about, or we're talking about relationships and marriages, and mm -hmm. I feel like communication has been kind of a trend. Um, so let's just jump into it. Yeah, let's do it. You want me to? Okay. Yeah, let's just uh, jump right. into it. Right. <laughs> Speaking of communication. Right? Yeah, we're, we're so good. We're working on it. Um, with marriage, I mean, obviously, you guys have married how many years now? 13. Yeah. Going 13 on 13 years. years. Yes. Awesome. That's amazing. Congratulations. We, I oddly enough, one year and four years. Yes. Wow. So mm -hmm. we're not quite, but it's amazing to talk to people who are seasoned, who have yes. who, walked through more especially when it comes to marriage, there is so many important lessons. Right. And I think the big that we are, the big thing that we're kind of addressing is communication. Like mm -hmm. as our first kind of starting point, like what does healthy or good communication mean to you guys when it comes to marriage? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, um, making sure God is in the forefront when you're communicating, mm -hmm. making sure that before you communicate, that you're praying about what you want to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, making sure that you are in a, I guess, the right tone. <laughs> That's I important. Would say that. Tone is yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just uh, being mindful of the other person's feelings. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, just not, you know, coming out and saying whatever you're thinking mm -hmm. at that particular moment, which mm -hmm. means taking time for yourself. Uh, to see how you should say what you're about to say. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. we, we've mentioned it a couple of times, like truth and love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. You know, you, you can say something truthfully mm -hmm. right. with no love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. And you can yeah. not say, you can say something loving that isn't truthful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and both have their, their, their negatives to it. That, you know, you want to be speaking honestly, but in loving fashion. Mm -hmm. Is that, is that something that you guys practice or focus on? Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's important to us mm -hmm. um, because, you know, discussion is very, very, uh, these days, mm -hmm. you got to be careful the way you say things yeah. um, yes. mm -hmm. because it could be taken out of context. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, I just always make sure mm -hmm. or we make sure that, mm -hmm. you know, we pay close attention to, yes. you know, facial expressions. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. You know, some, some read the room yeah, first. Read, read the, the room. room. Uh -huh. You know, you you're know, saying I'm mad at me, but your face. Yeah, but so, your face yes. is saying something else. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, 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 st we stay true to that and we right. try to practice not hurting or harming each other with words. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah. very important mm -hmm. because we can do that when you uh, come off as being abrupt because you want to get a point across. Right. Mm -hmm. Or just speaking out of the flesh. Right, speaking out exactly. of the flesh, absolutely. Um, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we kind of like try to make sure we're not yelling at each other or we're just like, you know, kind of like, like I said, it's not what you say, it's how you say mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it's so the, it's, it's, yeah. We make sure that 
we have mm-hmm. to have compassion, yeah, mm-hmm. about what you, you know, mean. with what we say. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you're passionate when you want mm-hmm. to get the person to right. understand yep. something. Right. Mm-hmm. And so your voice can, you know, go up a couple <laughs> of octaves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, so before we even go to each other, yeah. um, we check ourselves right. and make sure that, you know, we're prepared to say what we need to say, but we do it with the loving spirit, mm-hmm. um, you know, and with kindness mm-hmm. and make sure that there's a complete understanding mm-hmm. when we do have those yeah. conversations. Mm-hmm. I think also it's a good example for your kids. Absolutely. Like I want my kids to see how me and my husband talk to each other yeah. and yes. they're going to hear things no matter if you're behind closed doors or not. Like if you're yelling, they're going to hear it. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so it's how you, you're being an example also to your mm-hmm. children. Yes. And that's like, that's my big thing is like, right. we will not argue in front yes. of the kids. Yeah. We yes. will not, Absolutely. we are healthy mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we will, we, there's a time and place. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of course. When it comes yes. to yes. your I've kids. had a lot of tar- uh, conversations in my teeth. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We will yes, talk we'll about talk about that. Yes, we'll talk about that. Yes, later. Right? Yeah. Yes. yes. All that look. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Just that look. You know. Do you have a conversation later for sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It, you, it doesn't start that way, but especially in the beginning of marriage, you, it's a learning yeah. process, yeah. you yeah. know, it's learning and we have learned to not let the kids hear those things, you know, it's important because you don't want them to have that in their marriage, you yeah. know, sure. so we keep that very, um, to the point like kids cannot be in here if we yeah. have a discussion. The funny thing about it is that we don't have big discussions like we used to. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. it's very calm our relationship has become so much better than beginning yeah so it's a growing thing it's very peaceful That's good. Peaceful, yes mm-hmm. yeah. did you guys both come from like a similar background like my wife's family was very quiet mm-hmm. like they all were calm mm-hmm. and my family was not <laughs> <laughs> so our communication style had to it's really different. learn right. because mm-hmm. how i approached conversations were dispirited yeah mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. but they weren't received that way right. did you guys have a, a similar conversation like conversation uh, a similar talking communication style i think you so say? yeah i think so i think mm-hmm. um well we my family we when you have something to say you say it mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you you say it but um, we know at the end of it, it's always back to love. Yeah. The foundation of it, it is has love. To be. Yeah. My family was kind of keep it, keep it kind of, you know, because you don't mm. want to hurt nobody's feelings or they'll keep mm. it and then um, they'll have a discussion, you know, because, and then we're always forgiven, you know, mm. so that's how our family was. Good. That's interesting. Mm. How do you, how do you prioritize? communication and just spending time with each other mm-hmm. when you I mean y'all have five kids can we talk about that mm-hmm. <laughs> five kids mm-hmm. I'm yeah I'm tired for you thank you yes. I think that's amazing mm-hmm. you're superwoman mm-hmm. first of all let's yeah. first of all mm-hmm. but prioritizing communication with your husband when you I mean I think my life is chaos and I have two mm-hmm. like I how do you feel about like how do y'all prioritize each other when you have a big household yeah. full yeah. of full of kids that are pulling on your attention? Mm-hmm. We make sure to know that marriage is the first priority, and mm-hmm. we if we have to go out, sometimes we kind of like <laughs> slip out <laughs> if yeah. we go out like to the <laughs> store, and then we'll like stop at a, a restaurant and a, sit and have a time. Store date night. Yeah, store date night. <laughs> yes. yes. But the restaurant just so happened to be there, yes. during yes. our travels. Yes. So we stop in. Yeah. And, but mm-hmm. they, because we spend a lot of time with them, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. they understand that we have to have our own personal quality yeah. time right. yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. But we make sure that they are good. Yes. You know, we mm-hmm. sit down together, we watch movies and mm-hmm. all that stuff. So sometimes they even eager because they get to do their thing in the yeah. house, running around yeah. and playing yes. and stuff. Right? Yes. So they're like, oh, are y'all going out? With that mom and dad, yeah. 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 Yes. It's date night, right? Yes. All yeah. coming yeah. out, right? Yeah. 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 That's so they get excited funny. about that. Mm-hmm. I almost so. feel like sometimes I feel guilty for, like, going out and not bringing the kids with yeah. me. Mm-hmm. I hope Addie doesn't listen to this episode. But sometimes, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you want to, yeah. you, you need that time with your spouse yes. without your children. Like, I love you so much, but we got to make sure yeah. that it's we're true. good, too. It's you know true. Yeah, mean? of course. So yeah. I, I have a little system where I take them first. Like, mm-hmm. all of us just yeah. go somewhere. Yeah. They're excited. That's By the time good. they get back yeah. home, mm-hmm. it's time. They want to go to bed. They want to yeah. rest mm-hmm. and everything. 
then I say, hey, yeah, you know, I was seven o'clock awesome. hour. Yeah. Seven o'clock hour. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Awesome. When I was like, day. I was already tired. I'm like, are we still? We're still doing something? Seven right? o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 it's nap thirty, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I can't say what time it was. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, having five kids, like, there's been a, a significant amount of time where it was uh, just children focused. You said you homeschool, correct? Yes. Yeah. And so, when it comes to marriage and just prioritizing, like, mm-hmm. like there is. There's only so many hours in the day. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, like you're working, mm-hmm. you're teaching, you're raising yes. your children. Like, there's so much going on. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it sounds great to like uh, we're going to carve out some time, mm-hmm. but how do you practically fight for that space with, between each other? Well, I homeschooled during a certain time, and then when it's time for a husband to come home, mm-hmm. it's mama and husband time. You know, okay. and they're pretty much always playing. You know, after that mm-hmm. time, so we kind of like. If I homeschool at a certain time, when he's come home, it's him, you know, mm-hmm. it's me and him. And then the kids are involved as well. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I mean, because we're family, you really sure. can't get yeah. the, yeah. you can't, yeah. <laughs> yes. you know. I wish there was an extra day. Yeah. <laughs> just some, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just one. Just, Maybe fill with something else, you know what I mean? Just one day. I just want to have them involved, <laughs> yeah. you know. It's, yes. It's it, it still kind of like, oh, you know, they're, they're loving kids. Or, so, yeah. or another thing that we do is a lot of times when we do go out, we bring them something back. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Yeah. So they know, oh, <laughs> mommy and daddy going out, mm-hmm. but they already know they bringing yeah. us something back. Yeah. That's so, great. okay, y'all go have a good time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they look forward to us coming back home. Because right. as soon as the door open, they run into the door. They always <laughs> run to the door. Yes. And they say, what you got for us? Yes. <laughs> what you got for good us? Good to see you, too. Yes. Yeah. Good yeah. to see what you, too. I missed you, too, so yes. much. <laughs> What about when it gets, when things get hard or you're, you know, you're, you don't feel like going out or you don't feel like doing it or putting in the work. Mm -hmm. How do you, how do you talk yourself into it? Or how do what, what do you do to adjust your thinking Mm -hmm. when it comes to your marriage, when you're exhausted? I'm being honest with you. This might sound funny, but I don't get exhausted because I'm so used to it. I don't get exhausted because... With the help of God, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You need Him. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm never exhausted. Yeah, I do like to have my personal time, but I'm never really exhausted. Well, there you go. I mean, you. Yeah. What about your own time? That there's a lot that you're doing. Like there's mm-hmm. a lot that I, you have to do. Yes, yes. I always take that time. I always take like if I have to, I slip in my room, my bedroom. Yeah. And I close the door. <laughs> that some, is true. I do that. Yeah. You know, just because it's it's it's, it's, it's great for us. It's yes. great for me. You know. Yeah. Just to if be you're a not woman. At your best and you can't be right the best for your kids and for your husband exactly and the kids know Mm -hmm. they know Mm -hmm. when she when she go in the room and she Mm -hmm. closes the door they know that Mm -hmm. that's that's mommy's time alone Mm -hmm. and so they don't bother her good it's really good i used to have to i woke up my dad on accident when he was doing his sleep time and that was (laughs) (laughs) don't interrupt sleep time (laughs) so throughout that process though you guys have been also in in ministry yeah you know and what it's it's i mean I say it differently because it's easy to kind of go to work. A work has an expectation, there, mm-hmm. you know, but ministry is ministry. Yeah. It is, yeah. it is, there isn't it's no, different. there's no clock mm-hmm. in, clock out right. for ministry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And so when you have your, yourself as a couple, your marriage and then these children and then ministry, it's mm-hmm. just adding a lot of layers to this mm-hmm. in terms of your time dynamic. Mm-hmm. And so that's where I just, I, I'm always like the budgeting of your time. Like what are the priorities? When do they shift? And are, are they always agreed upon? We pretty much, yeah. I mean, because of mm-hmm. the balance that we created, mm-hmm. we understand it has to, you have to have a balance with whatever it is that you're doing. Mm-hmm. If it's not balanced correctly, then it'll be chaotic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so we make sure that, you know, when it's time for us to be at church, that's where we are. Mm-hmm. We do what we need to do when it's time for us to be home. Mm-hmm. You're at home. Yes. Home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to be adaptable yeah. to things, you know. Things change, things shift, and when you're adaptable, mm-hmm. you can work right. in. You know, when you have, when you're doing something mm-hmm. for God, you have to be adaptable. Yeah, things happen. And that's happen. what I think. Things happen. Yeah. You know, you you like for instance, we move from here to yes. there. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you have to adapt to what God is doing. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's it, so important. You know, it's good. Mm-hmm. It's not always easy to yeah. be so flexible. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a question. So, like, I know you guys worship together. Mm-hmm. 
Like I always love it when you're worshiping and you're up the front. I'm like, that's gotta be, <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's gotta be an amazing thing to like yes. look out and see your wife or see the kids out there yes. worshiping. Yeah. And I would like, I get inspired mm-hmm. to watch them. I'm like, oh, oh yes. yes. Yeah. That's true. Yes. I'm not a dancer. Yeah. I'm not a dancer. Yeah. Right. But, uh, I receive my own way. Right. <laughs> but I know you do that at home. We've, we've mentioned this before that you yeah. guys mm-hmm. worship at home. Yes. Um, so like, is, is prayer part of that? Like yes. I always, mm-hmm. it's like with married couples, like we don't, it's not talked about a lot, but like, do you like, what's your prayer life like? Is it together? Is it separate? Yeah. It's both. It's both. Yes. both? It's mm-hmm. both. Yeah. We, we spend time together praying mm-hmm. and then there's sometimes I come home, she's already praying. Yeah. So I don't interrupt her. Yeah. So I just know that I need to get in my secret closet, nice. you know, cause that's a cue for me mm-hmm. that, <laughs> you know, you need this just as much as I do. So yeah. I, I take my time as well, mm-hmm. but we do a, a lot yeah. together. Well, the kids as well. We do a lot with the kids. Absolutely. Nice. Pray a lot with the kids. Mm-hmm. Like even at nighttime, you know, that's our thing, you know, mm-hmm. praying, making sure they see prayer, you yeah, know, we don't it's go, important. They don't go to bed without prayer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it mm-hmm. always like this from the beginning? I mean, 13 years, what was it like at the beginning? Just go to bed. <laughs> that was it. Like, but for y'all, how is it for y'all too? Did y'all still pray together no, early on it in your was marriage? It, no, or? It, it was more individual. Yes, really? Yes. Yeah. It, it's had got, it got deeper even this, this year, I would say. Really? I mean, it, you know, because I believe God is calling us higher. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what was it at the beginning that made you switch and realize, okay, we, we need to be doing this together. We need mm-hmm. to be praying together. Mm-hmm. We need to be prioritizing our time together. We realized that something was missing. Mm-hmm. Something was missing, mm-hmm. you know. You know, if it, it felt like one person was going up mm-hmm. and the other person wasn't, yeah. yeah. And so we like, okay, so something is something is off, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And so we came to the mm-hmm. realization that mm-hmm. hey, if we're not doing it together, mm-hmm. then we're not going up together. Yes. Yeah. Right. And so mm-hmm. for us to be one flesh, mm-hmm. we need to partner. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. make sure that mm-hmm. what you say to God, mm-hmm. I'm in agreement mm-hmm. with that. Sure. What I'm saying to God, you in agreement with that. Mm-hmm. It builds your spiritual relationship together, you know, because mm-hmm. we should be as a married couple and as married people, our spirit should connect, mm-hmm. you know, on a level where it's one and in unity. So that yeah. was important, you know, and in that, that's what made us say, you know what, you know, we got to step it up, you know. We're, we're but I feel like good. a lot of couples could get to that point where mm-hmm. one person's going up and the other person's yeah. kind of stagnant and yeah. isn't. And when you're in that situation, it's so easy to to flee or to For be sure. like, okay, this must not be it. I'm tapping out. Mm-hmm. How do you, mm-hmm. how do you, I mean, I'm trying to figure out the best way to word this, mm-hmm. but how do you stay motivated in your marriage? I guess is the best way I could yeah. put it. You know, there's a no judgment zone. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't judge each other. Yeah. Where if if I'm the one that's weaker at that yeah. moment, mm-hmm. she doesn't judge me. Mm-hmm. She prays for me. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Vice versa. That's good. Right. Mm-hmm. We already said um, there is never other option. You know, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. that's it. You know, we've always said that, and it kept us that's going good. even at our lowest point. Yeah. No matter what. You one know, of, the, one yeah. of the things that mm-hmm. we, and another thing that we said mm-hmm. to each other was, whatever we do, mm-hmm. don't let the flame go out. Yes. Mm-hmm. So even if it's dimmed, mm-hmm. you know, we, one of us, we just have to mm-hmm. get back in place, right. reignite that flame mm-hmm. um, so that we can, yeah. you know, get to that level we need to be together as a unit. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, when you think about it, because it's, <clears throat> it's so easy to like, it's on you this time. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, t- it's on you mm-hmm. to kick, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's your turn to light this flame again, you know, right, and right. have that perspective, which mm-hmm. is dangerous. Yeah. You know, dangerous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to be strong because no matter what, whoever is the strongest, you keep lighting the flame mm-hmm. yeah. until you see God move. That's how mm-hmm. you do it. You don't, you don't let the other one um, fall. You keep, if, if you have to keep pulling that person back up. Mm-hmm. Couples. Yeah, because people could think, oh, it's just a one time. Oh, yes. like, oh, no. we did our date night. Yeah. We're good. We're good for yeah. a couple months. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, yeah, it has to be constant. You have constant. to be putting in the work all the time. Yes. So when you went into this marriage, Alante is your daughter, your stepdaughter. Yes, I am in a very similar situation, yes. which I had Addie young mm-hmm. and then married Ryan. So Ryan has right. his, her stepdad. Mm-hmm. I want to know your kind of perspective in y'all's marriage going like 
it was always framed whenever we went into this. He's like, Addy is going to be treated like mine. This is, mm-hmm. you know, and that builds trust with me and him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because I know this isn't like that he's taking her as his own. Mm-hmm. What did that do for y'all's marriage? Was it kind of similar to that? Like. Did y'all have that conversation prior to being married or was it just automatic? Like you just knew it, how well, it was going to be. No, I, I came into Alante's life when she was four. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, but for us, mm-hmm. it was me trying to have a relationship with Alante because mm-hmm. there was feelings that Alante had yeah. Yeah. when she had to accept of me course, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and I had to accept her. Mm-hmm. And so of course, you know, you grow into, loving each other yeah. mm-hmm. and getting a better understanding of, you know, what part each other play. Mm-hmm. And does that put, I mean, this might be, a, I want to know, like, just yeah. I, I just want to mm-hmm. know, does this put, did that put any pressure on y'all's marriage going into it? In the beginning, it wasn't because mm-hmm. Alante was, um, I mean, cause we knew each other. Yeah. We were friends first. We, yeah. me and Danny knew each other. So it was like, when we got together, she was a part of me. Yeah. So yeah. in the beginning, it was never like, oh, like if we did something, Alante was there. Mm-hmm. You know, I think as she got older. I just, I think, yes. I think whenever mm-hmm. we kind of started marriage mm-hmm. off like really fast because mm-hmm. I already had a child. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't, it wasn't the normal like, okay, you get married and then you have a season of togetherness and yeah. then you have your yeah. kids. It yeah. was like, no, we're jumping right into this mm-hmm. because we already have a kid. Like you mm-hmm. have a stepchild. This is my daughter. Like we're already jumping right into mm-hmm. it. So that accelerates things. Did that acceleration have any like pressure on y'all at all? Cause y'all didn't have that season of like getting to know each other. And cause you just jump right into family. It wasn't, it, it, honestly, it wasn't, as difficult as it could be yeah. mm-hmm. um, because we knew that it was going to take love to get it done. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Yes. As she began to get older, mm-hmm. uh, you don't always see eye to eye yeah. mm-hmm. because there's things that she's trying to convey to me and there's things that I'm trying to convey to her. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes it just takes a coming together mm-hmm. um, Usually when people are trying to express themselves, as we said before, Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you want to get your point across. Mm -hmm. And so you say it the way you feel it's going to get, Mm -hmm. Um, which means it it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the right way all the time. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes, you know, we operated by saying things that was not the right way. Mm -hmm. It was the right words to say, Mm -hmm. but it was not in the... Mm -hmm. Not in, in, in love. In, correct. Yes. Right. Not sprinkled with grace. Mm. Yes. Correct. Yes. Sprinkled with grace. Mm. Correct. That's good. That's true. And, well, so, I mean, I guess that kind of goes back to another point of, or question I should say is marriage, <laughs> when you've been in it for more than a day, mm-hmm. it's not rainbows and Skittles. It's no. not. You know, no. It's a lot of conflict resolution. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a lot of, hey, I should have said that or I shouldn't have said that yeah. or yeah. apologizing. There's this dance Learning of and like, growing. yeah, mm-hmm. like asking for forgiveness and being forgiven, yes. you know, and then like mm-hmm. giving forgiveness. Mm-hmm. How do you guys walk through when it is not good? Like, not it's, for, yeah. like it's, it's always, it's always easy when it's Man. easy, but when it's not easy, mm-hmm. what's yeah. that look like? Mm-hmm. There's been tons of times when it wasn't good. And, yeah. you know, for me, instead of the yelling and the screaming and stuff, mm-hmm. I, I got my keys and I got in my car mm-hmm. and I went for a drive yeah. okay. to calm down, mm-hmm. to prepare my thoughts and whatever. And when I got home, there's times when I got there, you know, she was just quiet. Okay. We're, I, we're, I when quiet. he got into, when he got in the car to go for a drive, how did you take that? Were you frustrated and like, no, you come back here. We're going to talk about this. Or were you like, okay, he needs to no, let he, him, let him process. It was always because you don't want to, when you have kids, you like we said, we don't want to get into a big thing. So yeah, the yeah, drive yeah. was good. Like, okay, go for your drive. And while he was driving. <laughs> maybe, like, maybe take yes. his like, where Yes, you? yes. Yeah. But, but I didn't only yes. go for a drive. Yeah. I, I stopped at restaurants. Barnes, yes. You know. <laughs> You come home full and happy. I'm like, yeah, I gotta yeah. take these drives and rock. Yeah. It's, it's the true. best thing ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She know that I did. I, yeah. I always came home, you know, yeah. but we had heated moments. Mm-hmm. You know, we had heated moments yeah. where, you know, we were upset mm-hmm. and but we never lashed out to a point where mm-hmm. to a point of no return. Yeah. yeah. Let me say that. It's, it's true. You know. And do those that I always think about like we we like it's that trust in the partner that you have. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a lot of 
anger or resentment or not it, like frustration can come from when you're not trusting that other person yeah. or yeah. you're not seeing them in the light that they should be seen in. You're like yeah. just in that moment. And that's why I, I, I'm always curious about when someone's doing it, doing it well for so long. It's like, how do you pray for someone when you're mad at them? Right. You know, I like, oh, we're going to pray. I don't even you want to go look pray. at you. you like, know, how can I pray so for you? You know what? And this is something that we had to learn. Um, when we, when we pray, and, you know, we just had a heated argument and stuff like that. I've learned, you know, pray for you. Mm. Don't yeah. pray. Don't pray about. <laughs> don't pray about her. No. Yes. You see what I'm saying? That's so good. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. So good. Yeah. And it wasn't always like it that. It wasn't always it like was that. It was not always yeah. like that. But I got, you yeah. know, we got to a place where, you know, when we, and we even discussed yes. that. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about that. Yeah. Okay, when you go to God and, you know, we had an argument or whatever. Mm -hmm. Go to God and ask him what it is that needs to be fixed in you. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that way, when we came back together to talk about it, we was talking about where we went wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. throwing darts at each other. Exactly. On how the other person was wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, and it's, it's such an like, important thing to be able to, like, mm -hmm. have that moment of going, ah, I messed up. Right. Mm -hmm. And okay. knowing that I can go back to my my wife. But that's mm -hmm. maturity mm -hmm. in yourself and in marriage too, yeah. because not everyone's gonna like no. that's that's a revelation it you have to get. It takes I time. Mean, yeah. Sometimes it's it took not, me yeah. three, four days before I came back yeah. to say, <laughs> No, it's true. Oh, you know, no, that, no, no, you're yeah, preaching. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Like, but now where we have others. grown to I can apologize right on right on the spot. Right. You know, it's without true. hesitation. And it doesn't have to take 13 years yeah. to no, get don't. this now. You exactly. can get it now. Yeah. yeah, you can get it now. The thing is, not trying to do your marriage uh, just alone. Mm -hmm. Right. Leaving God out of the equation, mm -hmm. it will never work. Right. Sure. So God must be the head, mm -hmm. yeah. the beginning, mm -hmm. and the ending of your marriage. Mm -hmm. And that way you'll have a better understanding because the more deeper you go into relationship mm -hmm. with God, mm -hmm. the more he will reveal to you mm -hmm on how to handle situations in your marriage. That's good. The two shall become one, right? You're becoming yeah. one. Mm -hmm. You don't just automatically become one. Yeah. yeah. You're bec becoming. becoming. You're oh. becoming. You're so becoming. That's good. if you know you had that revelation, you can be good. Yeah. We're still yeah, in it. we're still in marriage we're class. Still, yes. And this is what we look at. <laughs> yes. It. We're in marriage class and and God is the teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how we look mm -hmm. at it. So what would you tell you mm -hmm. from like your first from first year to now, like, hey, I can give you some insider tips. Yeah. Oh, man. What would you what would you course correct immediately? <laughs> the first thing I would say to myself is, what were you doing? <laughs> well, you know, what was wrong with you? Mm. You know, and I would tell Heard myself. That. Yeah. <laughs> what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Yeah, what's wrong with you? I asked the same question. Yeah. Mm. And but I would tell myself, you know, you don't have to be abrupt in trying to get your point across. Mm. There's a way to do everything that we do with the spirit of love, with the spirit of compassion, um, and all that getting, get an, get an understanding. And sometimes in order for you to understand, you have to listen. Mm -hmm. And so I would tell myself then, you know, listen more, talk less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. What about you? We're human. We're all human. That's it. And if we're human, we're liable to make mistakes. Yeah. So... I mean, you have to have grace, and I have grace because of love. Yeah. Mm. Love is grace. Grace is love. You, so. you looked at me kind of different. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean that was a love look? Oh, so love look. Love look. Got to have grace. That's what I'm saying, what my face is saying. Yes. Yeah, sure. That's good. Well, that kind of brings us mm -hmm. to, like, the, the heart question of this entire podcast series mm -hmm. about, you know, um, let's talk about it, is – we always say what makes winners in life, mm -hmm. but what makes winners in marriage? Wow. That's good. Again, as I forestated, God be in the forefront of your marriage. Mm -hmm. um, and what makes us win? And we know that we win because the things that were spoken over our marriage, mm -hmm. we're actually seeing a manifestation of that come to pass. Yes. So yes. that's winning for us. Yes. Winning is knowing that you have a partner who loves you. Winning is knowing that God is in the forefront and that he is the foundation of it. And we just keep Jesus at the center. Keep Jesus at the center of it all. That's it. You know, 
that easy. That easy. See? <laughs> Told you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she was asking a lot of questions. I know. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> this has been awesome. We, mm-hmm. I, I truly appreciate you guys so much. I, I love you. how you guys yes, lead worship. I love so how you much. lead your children. Yeah, I mean, it's inspirational. It really is. Um, yeah. Again, I think you guys are such, I mean, we're so and blessed And you simplify to have you guys. it in a way, like, we, I feel like we complicate things a lot. Yeah. We're like, <laughs> we have to have a whole rule book and you're like, no, it's just, it's this simple. No, but please, <laughs> like, please understand. Yeah. And we want to make it known for everybody that watched this episode that it wasn't always that yeah. way. Yes, it wasn't true. always the way it is now. Right. We had to really mm-hmm. trust God to yeah. get to this point. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, 13, and trust each other 13, too. And trust yes. each other as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it takes time. Mm-hmm. It takes time. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, yes. Yes. Well, that's good news. It, for all of us. <laughs> it are, makes the yeah, it's like, okay, we don't, it doesn't have to be perfect right no, now. Right. We, it's a process and it's we growing. It's coming. Yes, becoming one. You're becoming one. I'm going to walk with that. Right? It's honestly like, we are becoming, becoming. one. Yes. Present tense. Um, yes. But no, this was, again, thank you guys so much for this. This was amazing. Thanks for having thank us. We yes. appreciate you guys and what you are to this community, this church. We love it. Um, thank you all so much for listening to this episode uh we can't wait to see you next week for another let's talk about it episode and we're hoping you're loving your february so we'll talk happy to you soon. valentine's day yes happy happy you have a great one. we didn't see you in church weird uh, <laughs> <laughs> have a great one we'll talk to you guys soon